No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of the evil. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it, and pass on. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in, in keeping your statutes. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials, and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, to gratify its desires. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. For because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. And He said, What comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. Thank you for watching. 
Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. May God bless you.